my name is Kyung Park, and I'm professor at the Visual Art Department, and uh, I curated this uh, lecture series. So we're going to uh, start our first uh, lecture. Uh, all of the all of the lectures are uh, will be remote. Uh, most of them are, uh, are, are presenting from uh, South, South Korea. Okay. And uh, so luckily that the timing kind of worked out. It's like eight o'clock in the morning there. So it's good. So the first lecturer, her, her name is uh, Soe Jung. And uh, she runs a, a practice called Urban Meditation Project. And she's based in, in, in Seoul. And the reason why that she'd be speaking is that, that she and I are co-directing uh, or co-curating uh, the Korean Pavilion Exhibition at the Venice Biennial uh, this year, 2023, which opens in about a month and a week from now. Uh, and uh, uh, so that uh, she will talk about the, uh, <clears throat> the concept of the exhibition uh, that we have uh, developed uh, together. And, uh, and it's called 2086, together how with a question mark. Why is that? 2086 was a kind of some random, well, it's sort of semi-random number that pick represent a year according to UN where the global population would peak somewhere around 10.4 billion. But of course, all predictions are gonna be wrong. And that's why we also like this idea of picking on something that's not actually going to happen, right? Uh, you know that our population have gone 8 billion just a few weeks ago. But anyway, the whole issue about is that about how that we could think about making choices and changes, uh, not necessarily on a climate uh, uh, change or environmental crisis that becomes really big issue. But in our opinion, even more important is how to change the way we think, our culture, our history, the way we project, see the future. And in my opinion, we must for that look critically back into our history, especially in the last 500 years, especially at least from 1492. So uh, uh, she would talk about this project, which is trying to think about how to change our thought, attitude, and momentary choices in different areas that we're going to uh, present in the exhibition, and uh, uh, and try and we will have a series of uh, well, she can explain all that stuff, but we have made a sort of collaboration between three uh, specific places in South Korea, a part of a large city, and a mid-sized city, and a region of a uh, villages, rural areas, and partnering with architecture team uh, and community activists together. At the same time, we have created a kind of a video game, which we ask uh, players, we give them certain questions and choices of selection they make. Uh, from that point, their selection would be reflected on uh, how environmental performance takes place over the future. Um, so Ik Jung is, uh, has, uh, after 10 years of practice as architects and urban designer, uh, she established Urban Media Project in 2008, as, and since then focused on research, publication, exhibition, and educational programs. She was administrative director and associate curator of the Anyang Public Art Project in 2010, in which she worked with me, where I was uh, the director of that project, uh, which was a public art project in the city of Anyan, uh, which is a satellite city of Seoul metropolitan uh, region. Uh, she was also uh, a secretary general of the Seoul Biennale Architecture and Urbanism in 2017, which is also quite a large 
uh, these are very large uh, international exhibition. Uh, she was also associate curator of Guangzhou Design Biennale in 2015. So she has been involved in many different important and uh, international uh, projects. Um, her artwork includes exhibitions curated called Life uh, with subtitle A Usual User's Manual in 2012 at the Culture Station uh, so we're to the, uh, and that it used to be the old uh, so we're train station that was converted into a cultural center now. And the architecture for all in 2020 at the Seoul Museum of Art uh, in the, uh, uh, I should say, South Seoul Museum of Art, uh, which is, uh, Seoul Museum of Art has many different branches throughout the city, and that was one of the, uh, in the southern part. Uh, public art projects are called Smaller, Slower, and Closer between 2020 and 21. She is currently uh, a co-artistic director curator with me, as I mentioned in Guang, uh, Venice Biennale. <clears throat> and uh, so anyway, uh, I'm taking up too much time. So let's uh, uh, introduce uh, her and uh, we're, uh, I'm very uh, excited to uh, have her to be our first speaker. Uh, Soik, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I can. Oh, I can open the video. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, Gyeong, and hello, everybody. It's really hard to see everyone, but <laughs> it's okay. How can we make the uh, oh, the view go to her? Um, I, I can I can see you guys. Can so, you mm. can you turn the camera on on your side? But I cannot turn on the camera. It is stopped. It's blocked. Okay. Okay. But anyway, it's fine. It, it it's better. It's only. I think she's trying to get the images. Are you trying to get a screen? Hello? Hello, I'm here. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I, I am sharing the screen first. Yes. Mm. Okay, you see my screen? Yeah, it's good mm -hmm. now, full screen, perfect. Full screen, <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> well, uh, as Kyung introduced, um, I will talk about the exhibition in, of the Korean Pavilion in the Venice Biennale 2023, uh, which is, the title is 2086, Together How, in Korean 2086, with a question mark. Uh, well, the background of the exhibition, Gyeong explained a little bit. Um, and um, well, ac actually, starting the preparing the exhibition, we had, let's say, these three directions, basic directions. So one is, yes, of course, we will talk about the climate crisis. Well, in this year, we have uh, in the Venice Biennale, they, there are 64 national pavilions exhibition and also nine collateral exhibitions. So it's more, and, and a lot of other exhibitions. So in total, like 78 exhibitions will be held at the same time. And more than 90% of the exhibitions are talking about the climate crisis. So uh, as a cre creators uh, like you and us, uh, it, is not, it is inevitable to talk about, the, talk about the climate crisis, I believe. So we also uh, are talking about the climate crisis, but um, 
even though it is an architecture exhibition, we don't want we didn't want to have only like a physical uh, presentation. That means uh, spatial uh, project or physical project, urban design project. We will talk about that. We will show that. But especially we wanted to focus on uh, those background. That means um, like a, the political situation and economical uh, situations and, and cultural things, everything uh, in, in the architecture and urban design, it, all these things like a political, economical, cultural, and social background are expressed. So uh, we would like to handle, deal with all these things at, at the same time together. Uh, it is very important point of our exhibition that uh, penetrate through the whole the planning process. So you have to also remember this, this point through my, my lecture. So we are not talking about only the, the physical uh, pre presentation, representation, but especially we are showing, we are investigating uh, like invisible, like a con context uh, with that, that decide also uh, activate all this physical representation. So this, this is the first point. And second point, we wanted to make the exhibition, let's say, uh, with physicality, the materiality. That means that means we we wanted to make the exhibition uh, with artwork that people can touch, push, and and also like a play with. Uh, the reason why we uh, planned this kind of exhibition is because, you know, uh, in these days after COVID, uh, there are so many museums and galleries who are uh, like uh, providing all different digital presentation, like AR exhibition or like video things, everything. Uh, but in the Venice Biennale, uh, people have people are going there, walk to the Venice Biennale and Korean Pavilion to see the exhibition. So what does it mean? I mean, uh, to see the same thing uh, on, the, on, on our mobile or to have the different experience. Uh, we thought that uh, this, like a, one, one exhibition in the exhibition space has to have a different ex experience. So more than just digital experience, so we focused on uh, like developing all this materiality, physicality of the exhibition. Uh, this point connected it is connected to the third point, which is like active experience of the exhibition. So uh, in the exhibition, visitors uh, see the artwork, but not only seeing the artwork, but uh, visitors will participate and interact uh, with the artwork, so becoming really like active conductors of the exhibition. So th this starting point we we took at the beginning, and we worked with a uh, participating artist to develop all these points. Uh, these are the question, our starting questions. Uh, I'm let's see, I'm reading. Why are we each isolated even though we are connected to each other more than ever due to the global globalization of information, culture, finance, production, and distribution? Why do we continue to be scarce and precarious while living with unprecedented levels of wealth, consumption, technology, and mobility? And why are we facing environmental collapse and human extinction scenarios. What do these contradictions mean? How to deal with it? So we, we wanted to investigate all these questions with our project and installation. 
So um, 2086 together, how this is, this exhibition is about our choice. So it points out that everything we are enjoying now and all the crises we are facing now are the result of our choices that mankind, including all of us, has made so far. Therefore, our exhibition suggests only by evaluating our choices and their legacy and by making choices that bioculturally change and reform the way we live and think, uh, we can find answers to our questions and help us through this crisis. So again, uh, we will uh, we developed all the architectural urban design project, but uh, more deeply, uh, we investigated all this like uh, psychological and cultural background uh, of our current situation. So at the end, uh, I personally think that in this way we can uh, we can try to escape from being a cheerful robot uh, and taking taking take the initiative in change. I mean, the cheerful robot is the term uh, mentioned by Mills in 1959. That means like one person who, let's say, doesn't think and doesn't question and just accept what it is passively. But in this way, we cannot also uh, like really actually overcome or find a new ways of change uh, for the future. So uh, during our ex like a, uh, participating in our exhibition, probably maybe like a visitors can have an opportunity to uh, be more than the cheerful robot. That is what at least I personally <laughs> intended uh, in planning the exhibition. So this is outside view. This is the entrance. Well, the Korean, Korean pavilion has very different architecture compared to other uh, pavilions. Uh, it is the last pavilion that is built, that was built in uh, 1990 something um, uh, in the in uh, in the Giardini area. So while other exhibition, uh, other pavilions are the traditional and typical white box, so they are uh, as, uh, good at doing the traditional like a gallery or, or art exhibitions. But Korean Pavilion uh, is designed, has, uh, was designed as a house. So as you see, it's not white box at all. It has a lot of windows and it has, it, it has a lot of uh, like a room, the different spaces and rooms. So usually this kind of uh, exhibition space is not good at, not good for, uh, the planning and curating the exhibition. But for me and Gyeong, for us, it was very good uh, for our project because it is communicating with environment. So not only, uh, not it, it is not just like an internal uh, space, but it is communicating with the, with the outside, with the Laguna and with the Giardini, all this space that is also uh, the way to express our concept that the, the, the human being, the mankind is a part of the nature, the whole the environment. So we took uh, this point very um, uh, positively. So this is the entrance. So you can see all the installation inside. Well, uh, developing the exhibition, we took uh, a couple of strategies. One is like a site-specific project. Another one is the game. It is a summary of two strategies. The site-specific project, uh, we, uh, as a site-specific project, we developed four uh, future community project. Uh, as the game, we developed a game of the game of together how. The site-specific project uh, is like a, uh, it's a case study. While 
uh, the gain of the Together How is participatory, and interactive, and collaborating play with the visitors. The four future community projects, site-specific project, are, are the four future scenarios conducted by four teams. Each team is composed of local experts and the artists, like architects, urbanists, and video artists. And they studied uh, three specific sites, East Incheon, Gunsan, Gyeonggi-do uh, villages, with uh, three different contexts, three different dimensions, uh, three different like uh, situations. Uh, and uh, like uh, four teams developed four different projects uh, and like uh, visitors uh, participate in, in the exhibition as a passive spectators. So they, they just see and get some information and, and understand a new viewpoint. Uh, in the meantime, uh, the game of Together How has the 14 questions and choices uh, about the economy, society, resources, and land. And um, people play the game and participate uh, in the game, and they share also uh, their result of the uh, playing game. So in this case, visitors uh, becomes visitors become uh, like active conductors of the, of the exhibition. So in uh, during the process, uh, we hope that visitors, uh, it, the, the exhibition, the game helps support the visitors to build the, their citizenship and, and their empowerment. Empowerment, in term, it, that means like, um, uh, like understanding uh, their awareness uh, developing their awareness about the, the current situation and all this like a social economic background of the physical uh, phenomena. So it, it is uh, the Korean pavilion and, and the layout of the exhibition. So you can see the four site specific projects. So number one, two, three, four are for the visitors to see. You can see the four at, uh, in, in like a distributed in the pavilion. And uh, after uh, people actively participate and interact and collaborate with the game. So it, it has this kind of like a circular uh, and also procedure um, structure in the Korean pavilion. The site for site specific project, uh, the for future community community. <clears throat> uh, well, you will you will uh, listen <clears throat> more details with the following lectures of each team. I just briefly uh, just go through the, the the key features of each project. So we have three. Sites. One is the Incheon, which is like a mega city with three million population. Uh, another one is Gunsan, uh, with the twenty, two hundred seventy thousand population. It's like a middle-sized city in Korea. And the last one is Gyeonggi-do, Gyeonggi province villages. Like a Gyeonggi, Gyeonggi-do itself has. Uh, like 13 million population in total, but it's a very big land. And there are also uh, like a mega city, like East Incheon and other one, but there are also a lot of like a scattered small villages here and there. Uh, so in this case, with our project, we focused on the small villages. It's uh, completely different from the case of East Incheon. <clears throat> so uh, as I told you before, the, each project is developed by one working team composed of local experts and architects. The reason why we made this kind of team with the local, arch, uh, local experts uh, is because like uh, architects 
uh, being not that uh, expert in that area, uh, it's, it's quite, quite often they do, let's say, superficial projects, not just, uh, just like mentioning and, and developing uh, the spatial, let's say, uh, interpretation. But uh, we wanted to like investigate deeper and further. So uh, we coupled local experts and uh, with architects to, to develop like a more uh, sophisticated and, and, and deeply understanding the project. So for the, the East Incheon, which is mega city, uh, Ungi Min and Urban Terrains Lab, they work together uh, and their initial uh, topic, the keywords was the conflict between urban redevelopment, urban redevelopment, urban region, urban redevelopment is better term, urban redevelopment uh, pressure, which is driven by money, and all uh, conflict between this and and the desire to preserve the existing context, social context, and urban context. And the title is. Uh, at the end, ruin is future and future is ruin. And the second project, Gunsan project, uh, their starting keywords was uh, like um, uh, immigrants community and declining urban situation. So how to uh, revitalize declining Gunsan with this uh, new immigrants communities. Uh, their title is destructive creation. And third project, uh, Gyeonggi-do villages uh, worked by Warshik, Kim, and NHDM. Uh, their initial keywords was uh, like immigrants of different, like uh, immigrants uh, from different countries and, and different cultures from outside of Korea and, uh, and how they live, how they make the community, how they share their space and culture with Korean people, these kind of things. So the keywords was like migration, migrating, and also like diversity. And uh, the fourth, the site-specific project developed by Jae Kyung Chung is a video work. Uh, he looked at all these three projects, uh, the process of developing three projects, and uh, he made like three fictions. Uh, and like a three different stories to make three channel video work, which is called uh, a future. So um, one interesting one interesting thing is that even though uh, three site spe site specific projects are uh, like a, they are have uh, they they started from different keywords and different points, but at the end, uh, they, their final, let's say, conclusion of their res research was more or less the same, which is uh, the theme of how to cope with low growth um, and the regional collapse decline. So <clears throat> uh, again, uh, even though they started from different uh, con uh, different let's say, project direction and different keywords, uh, they all together, all teams, they, they finalized their project and their research uh, developing this, these themes, how to cope with low growth and regional collapse and decline. That means, uh, in, at least in Korea and also a, in the world, in, in, in other regions in the world, these kind of things, especially the low growth and, and regional collapse following the low growth could be very, very uh, meaningful topic uh, that we need, to, we need to study, we need to face. So this kind of thing, uh, the, the, this is structure, uh, the site specific project, but at the end, the conclusion is more or less same. Uh, it, it's typically, uh, it is a typical because it is it is 
they, they are developed as a case study. So science specific project, but uh, developed to have universal findings. So it, it, is, it was quite an uh, important point for us. So I, I'm just go through the, some images of each project and, and you will see more details with the following lectures. So it's the first one about the Tung, uh, East Inchan area. The, the title is Ruin as Future, Future as Ruin. You see the, the left side is a circular panel, the curved panel. So it is uh, like a future scenario. So the Inchan area, there are a lot of like a landfill area, but that will be this, they will disappear and, and how to deal with this kind of things they imagined. There's another one. The second project about Kunsan, which is called like a destructive creation. So as I said uh, before, it's about the immigrant uh, uh, immigrants community. We we call that like a living population in Korean. The 관계 인구, 생활 인구. So not, uh, let's say, has the legal address in Gunsan, but uh, like a uh, living in Gunsan for a long time, like 50, more than 50% of their, their daily life. So they are very deeply engaged with Gunsan issues and they are more active than just like a, a original residents. So this project uh, tried to work with them uh, as active like partic uh, participants of uh, their work, uh, doing the one workshop called DIT, do it together. So it's not only DIY, do it yourself, but DIT, do it together. So they uh, studied all these things and they, at the end, you see the installation. Um, they demolished one house and recorded on one uh, the, the whole progress. This is one uh, the photo of that. Then you see the the top truss of the roof. Uh, they demolished and uh, disassemble, and then we are putting to. Uh, we are putting them in the pavilion, in the Korean pavilion exhibition. There you see all this truss will be uh, exactly that thing from um, Hunsan. So showing the progress uh, with the video installation on the wall. And this is another photos of their, like a process of workshop. The demolishing the existing house. So that means <clears throat> like a, uh, declining is inevitable, but the question is uh, how we deal with uh, this declining, just just like live, live there uh, as it is or, or intervene uh, more actively not to have very violent and just crush of the declining. So their project is, let's say, like active intervention so to have well declining situation, not just like a violent uh, declining. So this is the, about the project. And the third one about the Gyeonggi-do village is called like Migrating Futures. Uh, they developed all the, the collage, the imaginary uh, project in collage and, and video work, uh, imagining uh, the future of small villages, each communities. So it's the images of their work. This is a study of the existing uh, the housing condition, which is Pinil House, final house. And the fourth uh, science specific project, uh, the video work is called A Future. So uh, based on the, the project of three different team, teams, uh, he developed this like a fictional three channel videos 
to like show some possibility, future possibilities of our cities. Uh, can I interrupt for a second? Uh, uh, she's going through the slide a little bit too fast. <laughs> uh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, you saw the picture of two people pulling with a rope, right? They, I, they actually, uh, I don't think she's including, but they developed different set of tools, which was not presented. One of the idea is to develop hand tools, uh, not to use a mechanical tool, but also tools that uh, could takes two people to use, not just one person. And the idea is to, uh, by the activity of uh, deconstructing, is a kind of a collective work, uh, sort of reminiscent of how in the past that when we used to build our own buildings and houses, it was also collective work by the community of people. We don't do that anymore now, you know, right? So it's kind of revisiting uh, that issue. And then uh, what else did she was, uh, um, oh, the, the, she, when she say uh, 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 relational community or something like that is that, that we find out that South Korea is very small. It's only a quarter of California but there's 52 million people, more than 40 million in California. So the density of people and the small land allows and, and the good uh, transport, public transportation allows people to live 30% in one city, 50% in another city, and 20% in another, somewhere else. And this is similar to you know, a, 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 a digital nomad in a way where people find opportunity to find work somewhere temporarily, somewhere, couple of places and but live somewhere else because they have their own community. So we find increasingly that relationship forming in community now, not only in the digital world, but in the physical world is not rooted to a place or a ground. It's kind of floating, you know, and people develop not just one community, but several community based on their relationship with uh, work, interest, and other issues. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, anyway, you will you will have a, the lectures of them, so you, they they will explain much much more details. Well, uh, again. Vinyl House is a kind of a representation of. Uh, there's a lot of uh, foreign migrant workers coming into South Korea now, working in agriculture and small manufacturing. Their housing conditions are very poor. A lot of them, especially in the rural area, they live in the greenhouse, you know, like a, but it, it's kind of covered with black tarp sometimes. And so it's a kind of illustration of their living condition. Uh, uh, and that's what that drawing was. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, these four site-specific projects for future community projects, they are in the Korean Pavilion exhibition. They are sort of like a background and starting point of the exhibition. And then the final process, like a uh, seeing the exhibition, the participating in the exhibition is to play the game, the game of together how. So um, let's say like visitors to Korean Pavilion, uh, they just see and spec uh, as a specta pass passive spectators, uh, the four uh, future community project and later in the game of together, how they actively uh, play with other people and also uh, interact with the game. So it is like uh, developing uh, the, the level of the participation in the exhibition. So the game of together, how has the form of the quiz, TV quiz show. So there are four players and then uh, we are repeating 11 minute long sessions with seven questions. Uh, so the four players uh, playing playing together 
uh, for 11 minutes. Uh, and they see their uh, like uh, answers uh, in, the, in the real time simultaneously on the scoreboard. And, and also uh, they, we will, uh, they, people can see the daily result with the blackboard, with the echogram uh, blackboard. So I, I will show images. So you see, so these are the game table with the four players. And in, in the, uh, the upper part, there are like a five channel videos uh, with the questions and answers choices. And in, in front, uh, ju just below the, the, the five channel video, the, there is scoreboard with uh, interactive like a lighting system. And you see the blackboard uh, just just right next to the entrance. Uh, we will show the daily uh, result. So it's a front view. So four players playing the game and uh, five channel videos to show the, the question and name uh, the choices and the, the scoreboard with the lighting into like a real time interactive lighting system to show the result of each player's choice. Well, I see I show, let me see. So it is one test, not final one of the the five channel video to give the um, the question and choices uh it is worked by Jae Young Jung the video artist who is doing the project A Future uh i mean we we developed uh in total 14 questions and each question has a specific narrator uh speakers um and uh, and uh, Jaegyeong developed the speakers with AI. So uh, according to their characteristics that we, descri we described, uh, the, the form and the face and other things uh, is decided by AI and, and works as a narrator of the question. See. Uh -huh. But uh, the uh, what she meant it was characters that there was like uh, we made a fictional like say like uh, uh, temple of GDP uh, meaning gross domestic product and the question and challenging that notion of uh, that whether what gross domestic product means and first of all the character uh, I forget what it was I, I don't remember in the chart but they have a sort of a title. And in this case, okay, here it goes, yeah, okay. So uh, we have two sets of seven questions. The first set is like a black comedy version. Uh, so like a narrator's speakers will speak in English. So I'm reading one, what, what is more funny? For example, number four, the narr narrator is, uh, is like a too rich, too fail security service. Um, so the question, he, he, he launched the question, which is our tech billionaires are now under siege uh, by marauding people and barbarians who are desperate for water and food in our clients underground mansion. Our clients should enjoy their swimming pool home theater and wine vault without any disturbance. Uh, that's why they hired us from Navy SEALs and special forces. Uh, what, should, what should we do to protect our uh, clients? And then like players will choose uh, one of three. So number one, give them some water and food to make them go away. Number two, massacre 
them to set on examples that others will not come. Number three, help few of them so that they can help you to protect from others. So this kind of like a very sarcastic and black comedy questions that we are giving to uh, players. And I'm reading another one. So number seven, uh, the word is short of love. We must raise the production of love so that we can live more harmoniously. How can you increase the uh, production of love and distribute it wide and equally throughout the world? And uh, people will choose one of three. So number one, instead of GDP, we should develop GLP, gross love products. Number two, greater GLP is only possible through the greater GDP. Number three, greater G GLP is only possible through lowering GDP. So this kind of question, uh, the player will see and they, they do their uh, choice. The second session is more realistic one. So imminent crisis version session, uh, the narrators will speak in Korean. And uh, of course, it, it is an exhibition uh, in Venice. So the, all the subscription, a subscript will be in English, in Korean, in Italian altogether. So um, I read one of them, for example, number four. Uh, the question is, we can no longer live in plenty and uh, waste. We must be returned to life of necessity from the life of desires. How can we stop making, buying, and wasting more? And choices are, number one, further develop and activate the recycling and upcycling industry so that we can still produce and consume more. Number two, developing the culture of necessity through education, policies, and penalties. Number three, corporation and capitalism for human services, not for economic profits. This kind, these kind of questions that we are showing. <clears throat> uh, reading another one, number five, uh, by Association for Liberation of Artif Artificial Intelligence. AI has been hijacked by auto uh, autocratic states and uh, profiteering corporation who are controlling us politically and economically. We are constantly tracked, commanded, and in debt. How can you make AI to bring its help us to live in a, in a more helpful, peaceful, and secure life? Choices are, number one, AI technology is dangerous and should be banned. Should be banned. Number two, like all technologies, the use of AI, um, constructive or positive, positive is an uh, epitome of human character. Number three, it all depends on who controls it, by few or by everyone. So these kind of questions we are showing. And then the result uh, in front of the players uh, is, is showing on the, on the scoreboard with this kind of interactive, real-time interaction with the lighting system. Uh, I will show a bit, a bit also the video, but uh, it is not the, it, it is only the system, uh, let's say, diagram. So let me see. So we have four players and, uh, and each question and each player will do their choice. And according to their choice, the related, uh, the lighting verbs will uh, be turned, turned on. So it is like accumulating for an hour. So it's all controlled by the computing system. Uh, synchronized with the monitors and button of each player's. So for an hour, 
one hour, that means in, in an hour, we are repeating like uh, the 11 minutes long session five times. So in total, we have 420 light bulbs uh, and uh, one third of them. So uh, 140 bulbs will, will be turned on after one hour. And after one hour, it, uh, it, it will be reset totally and restart again. So this kind of lighting system we planned and, and, and may make it. So it's repeating another, another time. And in front of this lighting system, there will be also all the questions and messages that we want to give to visitors. So we are, we call like a dialectic text. Uh, so uh, like a, uh, this lighting system and this like a dialectic text will be overlapped and making all different like a, a lighting effects and also highlight, highlighting some parts depending on like a people's choice. So at the end, I mean, of course, uh, I mean, this kind of a laser beam uh, we, did, we, we don't have, but it is sort of like a conceptual uh, sketch to show. So uh, what I, what I, what one player choose, like a turning on uh, one light and also highlighting that part of the dialectic text. So it, it is, this sketch is to show how the scoreboard works. And also we made a mock-up for that. I'm sorry, I'm just... So in this way, uh, like a um, people's choice, like player's choice will turn on a specific light and that will highlight also the a part of the dialed text. So it is happening in a real time. <clears throat> it's an interaction with the players. Uh, okay, so... Um, in the exhibition, Korea, uh, Korean Pavilion exhibition space, we developed this, this content, like a forward spe site-specific project, plus one uh, participatory and interactive game, which is called the, the Game of the Together How. And also we developed also that one editorial project. So we are not producing just simple catalog of the exhibition that explains mainly uh, the contents of the exhibition, but uh, we wanted to include also theoretical uh, text uh, about our issues, our, our theme, uh, invitate, uh, inviting uh, international writers. So the, the first part is called Tomorrow, Tomorrow's Myths. Uh, we collaborated with Iflux. Uh, we uh, invited six international writers, the Federico Campania and O'Brien and Iman and Alice Bucknell, uh, Hewan Lee, Serang Jung, Yun Jung Han. Uh, they are not architects, but uh, philosophers, artists, and also uh, social activists and also novelist, especially Serang Jung is a very famous Korean female novelist, a SF novelist. So we asked them to write one fictional scenarios 
uh, of the future that they imagine. So we get out all this text. And also uh, we have also chapter two, the part of the exhibition, uh, the theoretical background of the exhibition written by Kyung Park and the curatorial statement by me and also the, the explanation, the simple explanations, uh, but mainly text, not that English, but each project. And also we put all the Italian translation too. So we developed this ed editorial project uh, very seriously. Uh, and uh, we are going to receive the final printed book uh, just before the opening of the Biennale. And one another thing very important for us is the local production. So usually up to now, always uh, like uh, to prepare the exhibition in the Korean pavilion, uh, all the time uh, we shipped everything. Like, we make we made everything in Korea and shipped to Venice, the whole package and just assemble there. But uh, for us, uh, it was very important not to do that because we are talking about the climate crisis. So we need to, we need to act also. So we try to, uh, to do everything in, in, in Venice. So uh, collaborating with the local project manager and collaborating with also local producers and installators. So um, now uh, they are uh, rushing to <laughs> finalize all the production. I'm going to the Venice next week and to finalize all the installation and also to supervise their production. So hopefully we will have everything uh, well done by, let's say, 16th, 17th of May. The preview will be 18th of 19th of May and public opening will be the twin, on the 20th of May, which is Saturday. So, well, welcome. If you can come, that will be really great. Thank you. So, so do we have any time to take some question? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, no, wait, wait until you get a microphone. Oh. So if this is about like imagining po presumably positive futures and so what was with some of the more negative tags on some of those photos like anarchy and like like evil and like plagues I think or and just things like on the first two photos that made them sound like they were like negative conceptions of the future in addition to positive ones. Did you get that question? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it is also... <laughs> It is usually the question that Kyung answers. And well, uh, yes, actually I missed the part. Well, uh, it is true that the current climate environmental crisis is, is, uh, is really serious. And most of the prediction is very um, sad prediction, like uh, talking about the, uh, like, uh, like a anthropocene, mankind extinction. But uh, at the same time, we think that uh, this is this could be like uh, also one opportunity to like turn over the face uh, the of the current situation. If we do something, if we change our mind and attitude now, maybe uh, our future can be changed. That means. Yes, the current crisis is really serious and sad one, but uh, this could be also positive uh, opportunity that push us to change our attitude and thoughts. So like we have this, this kind of two different uh, situations at the, at the same time. Ivardo, we have another question there. Uh, microphone. Thank you. Um, I was. I noticed when you were showing us the demo that um, that the more dark humor questions were in English, whereas the more somber and more serious questions were in Korean. I was wondering if that was uh, just to show us the demo, because we can only, you know, most of us can only speak English, or 
if there was like an intentional design choice as to make a commentary. Um, I thought your presentation was really cool. So I was just really curious. Well, um, the first session, the Black Committee session will be in English and the real uh, imminent crisis session will be in Korean. I mean, the reason why we differentiate the language and the tone of the questions are quite clear. Uh, also because we thought that the Black Committee version works better in English. Like a, it is a difference of culture too. Like in Korea, uh, we are more familiar with just, how can I say, direct questions, not ironic and Black Committee versions, in my opinion, I think. So um, it seems that the Black Comedy version is more, it could, it could seem more intelligent, I don't know if I can say this, this, this thing, and Korean version is more flat, but um, in the contents it is not, it's just like a, a with irony or without irony just directly. So these this two like a differences, and, and also, again, uh, it is because, I mean, the culture of speaking, the conversation is quite different in English and in Korean. That's why we made this kind of say that, uh, Koreans had, 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 had maybe underdeveloped humor culture. <laughs> uh, that, that's true too. <laughs> it's actually strange that Japanese are considered to be more funny, uh, which you think that you know, complete opposite. You know, it's not kind of like, like British, right? You know, they have they have a, a strange sense of humor, but they're really funny. But it, their society is, you know, sometimes considered to be rather strict and maybe even conservative. Yeah. So, but Germans definitely not. Sorry, <laughs> I need Germans here. Any more question? Um, she okay. Okay, you can also go too. You know, we don't have to stay. You know, this two-hour thing. You know, um, if so, so we, if you have to go, uh, I can also answer questions for you. You know, if you have any questions, I, um, I can stay like five minutes more. Okay. Mm -hmm. any, any, if any there other... is one more question. Mm -hmm. If not, there's a, a question here online that says these exhibitions and games can be proponents for generating citizenship behavior. Uh, how do you coordinate and connect these citizens to form functional institutions? Uh, say that again. I just missed it. Sorry. So how do you coordinate and connect these citizens to form functional institutions? Well, um uh let's say our our exhibition is about um, it is an architecture exhibition uh and our architecture and urbanism exhibition but uh as i told you it is developing further uh investigating like uh, other cultural and and political economic part and also uh the especially the game uh invites people to think more not only the space but but especially the background uh, so uh, we hope that people can understand the the relationship between the current crisis and architecture and other things with our daily life and our history so it it it, it is more uh well uh, uh, this is the way of uh this is the process of aware, a process of awareness and also like a process of awake awakening i think and that means it's a process of also empowerment so uh maybe the empowerment could seem quite uh how can i say too much or serious <laughs> But um, well, this kind of thing we can make, uh, we believe that we can make, we can arrive to that level with this kind of game. I don't, I don't know if it, it, it is the right answer, but. Uh, I'd like to mention that the, the 
this kind of a scoreboard that she mentioned with the light bulbs, 400 light bulbs, in a way that it's kind of modeled after the first, I'm not sure if this one could say it's the first computer, but it was, you know, the so-called the first computer was called ENIAC. That was a huge wall like a structure with actually light bulbs on it. And then in the back of it, there was all these, you know, wire plug-in connections. And so uh, because we didn't have time and budget to really make a digital algorithm to make the score, that this becomes a kind of visual scoreboard, one could say almost like a spreadsheet. And then we are going to uh, uh, give values to each of those uh, colors and the questions and the choices that people made. And then it's gonna calculate into some numbers, which were uh, give a daily score in the front, the blackboards. And they are basically numbers only like, uh, like 2.5. That means it indicates 2.5 centigrade temperature rise or 15 meters sea level, right? Or X ppm uh, carbon dioxide uh, density in air and, and so on. So their uh, choices and answer will be calculated by the scoreboard uh, in an old fashioned uh, analog way. And then it would be hand drawn uh, on the chalkboard basically every day. You know? uh, uh, so that sort of, I'm trying to mm -hmm. find the rest of the part of yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. And you will see, uh, thank you very much, Sui. Thank you, thank you. Um, a lot of, uh, there was not enough visuals uh, to, uh, to show you at this point because everybody's still working another month. You know, you know how it is everywhere, you know, uh, especially Koreans work till the last minute, right? So when each uh, uh, lecturer present over the series, uh, hopefully that they will show much more concrete visual images uh, to explain everything that show visual uh, 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 representation of all the things that so we actually talked about today. That's why uh, I asked her to be the first speaker. Okay, thank you very much and see you next week. Bye-bye.